Hi everybody, welcome back to Cabin Crafts and Simple Living. And I've got a couple of fun uh, paper crafts that would be really reasonable and fun to do with your kids today. And uh, the first one I want to show you, I'm sure you guys have seen these beautiful um, pads, like in Hobby Lobby with all the decorative papers. I've got one here that I kind of call Merry and Bright, kind of modern colors. And then I've got one here that is Old World Winter. Of course, this is showing upside down on the video because I'm in so... But all of these pretty antique colors are in here. And one of the things I wanted to show you, I'm going to show you two things. But the first, and I'm sure you guys have made these when you were a kid, but paper chains. And I love to get like the British uh, Country Living magazine. Uh, it's it's uh, more cool than our American Country Living magazine. Ours is just full of prescription ads. But I see these all year long in Country Living just for all sorts of occasions, birthdays, they like to do the little triangular banners, too. But I see these paper chains a lot, and especially in the Christmas issue, they'll drape them around kids' beds. Um, just any any place that you want to have a party. This one is five feet long. I've got it kind of folded up here. And all I did is I have a paper cutter. And if you don't have a paper cutter, you can just use the good old-fashioned ruler and a pencil and scissors. And all you do is you cut, these are one and a half inch by eight inch. And you can use tape, you can use a um, stapler, you can use glue, whatever, but you just add a ring and staple. And add another ring and staple. And I actually looked up the history of paper chains. And because I know I've seen them in very old photographs and come to find out um, Prince Albert first introduced them to Queen Victoria when he brought his German Christmas traditions with him uh, in the Victorian era. And I found the first published edition of a paper chain was in America by John and Maria Krauss. They wrote a book called The Kindergarten Guide. And it was published by E. Steiger and Company in New York in 1882. So these go back at least 1882. So I think that's cool. It's a very Victorian Christmas uh, tradition. I've also got this one here that's made with the Victorian papers. So if you want a more of a little old world book, you can do that. Um, I just thought this would be fun that you could do something with the kids. It's reasonable. I know we're looking for reasonable things to do nowadays. Um, and I sell them in the, I sell the kits in the store for like $5. It'll make a five foot long chain. Um, I haven't put these on the website. If anybody's interested, I guess I could, but I figured you all would rather just go get your own. Um, these go on sale for half price. So like at Hobby Lobby. So this one's a $20 pad. I got it for $10. Um, this one was $8.50. So I got it for four and a quarter and I mean you're going to get a lot of projects out of these um, I've cut I don't know how many sets of this and I still have tons of paper left the other project that I thought you'd like to do is I took these same papers and I made mini hat box ornaments and what I did was these are those paper mache boxes that you get at the craft store and what I've done is I've cut the papers out I drew around the lid and glued the lid on. Then I glued a side piece on. Then when it came to the bottom, I had already painted these boxes, but you just want to go down where the lid, it won't, the lid don't want to fit if you wrap the paper all the way to the top. So just kind of make a little line around here where your lid would go, and that's as far as you go up. Then I took my awl and I put a little hole in here and I bought this box of little brads. They're just little, I don't know what you would even call these, but they're just little teeny weeny brad holes where you can run a string through there and it fits, it fits perfectly where I made, where I punched it in the box. So you can see where the brad is. And then I ran my string on the inside 
and I sanded the box lid all the way around and on the bottom and you can paint the bottom if you want or you can just leave it plain paper mache and then I ran colored string and you can hang these on the tree they look like little hat boxes or you can use it to give money or a gift card I've got round ones and oval ones look at this one this one's a striped paper isn't that cute and so I used all of these same papers. I love this one. This one's this one's berries. And then this one is snowflakes. And if you look real close, I sanded the edges and then I rubbed antiquing on them to make them look old and antique. So you can hang these all over the tree and put treats in them. These would make cute little advent boxes. Um, just a fun, quick craft that you can do uh, with, this one would be with older kids, but the paper chain, most definitely, um, you could do with your little, with your little ones, especially if you just use a stapler, and they are tape, and they, they won't hurt themselves that way, you don't have to worry about hot glue or anything like that, so I thought that this would be um, a fun, quick project that you guys can do with your kids at home for Christmas, you can make a paper chain, Here's a shorter version of what I was demonstrating a while ago. Make a paper chain. Make some cute little gift boxes. I got these at Hobby Lobby, of course. Um, and they come in round and oblong. And you can rub, you know, after you sand them off and make them look old, uh, you can rub uh, shoe polish on them. And, you know, your, your, your gluing's not going to be perfect. Mine wasn't. So... It looks good to antique them. It makes them look old world and vintagey like little old antique hat boxes. So go get yourselves some paper. Um, as I always say, the possibilities are endless. I think you guys will enjoy making these. This is the modern ones. This is the old world ones, um, depending on what your decor is. Uh, it's just, and I've had these for a couple years, and they're st I still just keep coming up with things, ways to use this. So... Um, like I said, if you don't have the paper cutter, just get a old, good old-fashioned ruler and scissors and, and, uh, and cut out paper strips and do some fun things with your kids this Christmas that's reasonable and also could make a, a cute little gift or a gift holder. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick craft because that's what it is. And um, I will have more uh, in the near future for you coming soon. So thanks for watching. Bye. And it doesn't ever stop when I hit the button. <laughs>